Okay, so that was really kind of um, the sort of meat and potatoes uh, of today. A um, lot of big ideas, um, a lot of heavy lifting. So, of course, again, um, anything that's unclear or such, like, you know, let, let's take it to the boards. Um, um, the last, like, part two and part three, you know, not too much. So, I'm, I'm like, you know, just like kind of uh, to, to finish up. On 11, Ruben talks about um, for Fassbender, um, again, this kind of like familiar trajectory of the relationship to kind of uh, narrative cinema, mainstream cinema, American cinema, really. But um, ex like that he was experimenting in lighting, editing, camera work, and mise-en-scene. So this is something to look out for when we watch Mar Maria Brown, right, um, on Wednesday. But also at the same time, this sort of loving imitation of American filmmakers, so as, as different as these films are from, from US films, from American films, um, they are kind of still in dialogue. And yet, it's like these anarchic um, qualities that undercut that sort of imitation. So you see again this sort of dialectic, um, this sort of back and forth relationship where it's like you have the German filmmaker and the US filmmaker, and like the copies, but it doesn't, it kind of like, you know, it's not a straightforward just imitation, right? Also, um, the importance of melodrama, and we've talked about melodrama quite a bit. Uh, Ruben talks about the relationship to how Fassbender is in dialogue with someone like um, Douglas Sirk, right? Um, Maria Brown is a melodrama, um, but because Cirque is someone that was working in a commercial sort of context, a studio context. He had to, like his subversion had to work sort of differently. You know, um, the films do have a sort of like resolution. They do kind of meet the expectations um, uh, 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 of audiences and, and studios, but at the same time he sort of plays with it in the same way. Um, Fassbender isn't in sort of tied down in that, you know, like the way that Cirque is, so he can kind of do what he wants. Um, so, it, so that's something else to keep to, to look for. Um, there's something going on here, right, with, with, with Fassbender, very similar to how Marshall Landy talked about Rome Open City, right? Um, uh, so this idea of like exploding conventions, um, like pushing them until they explode, that sort of subversion, right? That's something to look out for. Finally, um, part three, um, I'm not going to really get into this. Uh, it would be useful to look at this both after you've seen the film, but also um, just as a model. So it's like when you're doing narrative analysis yourself, like formal and narrative analysis, when you're, when you're looking at films and trying to talk about and write about films, use something like this, those, those six pages, as a, um, a kind of model. Like this is what I'm aiming for. Okay, um, again, you know, let me know if you have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys soon.